Just like yourself. On the Trev. It's too sweet. Told you. I had another video to make. Bust out your brooms. Colorado Avalanche. Have won their third Clarence S. Campbell Bowl trophy in their team's history. Sweeping the Oilers in four straight. See, I must be onto something. I keep saying abs and six, abs and six, and they keep winning. Let's discuss. So as the title suggests, the Colorado Avalanche have won their first Campbell Trophy since 2001, their third in franchise history, having swept the Oilers in four straight and outscoring them 26 to 13, 22 to 13, sorry, while I learned how to count proper. <laughs> Beating the Oilers at Rogers Place tonight. And I want to say that it could have been a much different series if everything aligned right, but at the same time, the Avalanche did everything right. They shut down McDavid and Dreisaitl. They took advantage of every scoring opportunity they had. Yeah, they let in a few too many goals, but that's expected in an unpredictable playoff year. On top of that, they took advantage of a team that had absolutely zero to account for their goaltending. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, Mike Smith has to be the most expensive light switch anybody's ever bought. All those millions of dollars, and it still doesn't work. On top of that, not having back, not having confidence in their backup didn't help much either. And granted, I've always had questions about Colorado's goaltending, but with Kemper out for two and a half games, Franco's kept it in nicely. So there's that. It's McKinnon throwing his body around, being the physical player that we all know he can be. And with Rantanen being the playmaker, we know he could be. He didn't need to score in buckets. Everybody else was doing that for him. He was just setting up the plays when it was necessary for him to set up the plays, and they were beautiful plays to set up. Yes, he did score. He scored the fifth goal tonight, and it was beauty. Not nearly as beautiful as Lankanen's, but he was on point. You can also add Kale McCarr throwing in points at will. Never mind when he's able to. At will. He had five points in tonight's game. Guy's going to be a beast in two years or less. And while Kadri was taken out in game three thanks to a dirty hit, he did play the X Factor like I said he would. And nobody believed me when I said he was going to be the X Factor, but in the games he did play... He did make a world of difference, whether it was being the pest that he's supposed to be, whether it was setting up play, whether it was making the goals. He did his job. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't include Nikushkin in this. Like, he just kind of woke right up at the right time. So that definitely helped out, too. All told, as I've said time and time again, if this isn't their year, when is it? These guys have been built solid for years. And they're just finally getting to go to the Cup this year. That's not a reflection or a knock on their skill. That's just a very well-timed observation that, hey, this could be it. It's also nice and important to note that this year, the Campbell Bowl is going back to a Western Conference team. If you remember last season, we had an Eastern Conference final for the Stanley Cup. So it's nice to see it come back out West. All in all, this has to be a great thing for Joe Sackick. He's built this team exactly as it is now. And if this was the identity Patrick Waugh was speaking of before he decided that he didn't want to stick around, glad Sackick was able to finally pull it out. Because this team is solid. Just oh, stacked in so many good ways. And if you're superstitious... They did touch it, but they didn't lift it. Of course, if you're superstitious on this, then then you are. That's probably the best thing I can say. But either way, I at least got another trophy prediction right. And congrats to the Colorado Avalanche.
for winning the Western Conference and booking their ticket to Stanley Cup Final for the third time in team history. Those are the just hockey shows. Well, thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you've made it to this point. It's a great thing for both of us. So hit that like while you're at it. That red button that says subscribe all over it. If you haven't hit it yet, you know what to do. You know what makes you feel good. So do it up. Socials are in the description down below. Moving forward. We got another trophy tomorrow. So there's that. That'll be the last trophy for about two weeks after that. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos from the Trev. Later.